hunt was due for release last year in the United States, but that was delayed because of the mass shootings in Texas and Ohio. And it's now available through the Foxtel store. It's a Blumhouse production, so you pretty much know what to expect. Except the hunt comes at its gory premise through the prism of the left-right divide in America. On a flight from somewhere in America to an unknown destination, 12 strangers are drugged and gagged in the back, while up front, the liberal elite are being served champagne and caviar. That's until one of those in the back, whom they dub deplorables, makes his way forward and causes a bit of a stir. Uh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. Everything's okay. Everything's fine. Uh, okay. It's all right. Uh, the strangers find themselves free in the countryside. A large crate reveals weapons for them and a key to unlock their gags. All too soon, they're being shot at. They are the targets in the hunt. No sooner do we identify a character than he or she ends up bloodied and dead. That's until Crystal, Betty Gilpin, arrives at a roadside service station where the apparent proprietors, Ma, Amy Madigan, and Pop, Reed Burney, had proven fairly inhospitable to earlier arrivals. Crystal is a no-nonsense war machine. She knows everyone is lying and she has no compunction about using her not inconsiderable skills to dispense with them, leading to an ultimate confrontation with Athena, Hilary Swank. Now, do I have to keep listening to Beethoven or can we fucking get on with it? <laughs> Creators of this, writers Nick Cuse and Damon Lindelof and director Craig Zobel, all have a background in television and to a certain extent this shows. Any serious message about our society is lost in the mayhem and development of character is subsumed by the efforts to create genre. However, Betty Gilpin is pretty impressive as a woman of action, although her backstory is sketchy and the extended final battle between the two women is both funny and bloody. Actually, much of the film is extremely amusing. It's very watchable without having much of a wow factor or much depth. Three and a half stars. You have no idea what you're up against. This time, they picked the wrong woman. Game of survival. I'm gonna rip you to pieces. We'll see.